twice. Now today we'll start exercise 8.3 comparing quantities. Now uh, I have shared one video where you must have learned about the difference between CI and SI, isn't it? So CI and SI, what is the difference? In simple interest, the principle remains constant. It never changes. Fine. But in CI, as I said in, the, in my last video, that it always changes after some certain period of time. As because the principle changes, so the value of compound interest will be always greater than the simple interest. Okay. So today we will learn how to do sum number A and B of question number 1 but before that I will just say something on the formulas that you have to apply on this exercise. So it is the first formula that you have to apply that is if it is written compounded annually suppose it is written compounded annually okay if it is written compounded annually so what formula you have to use you have to find out amount now in ci the first value that you have to find out is amount after that only you can find out the ci value okay so if it is written compounded annually then the formula of amount would be p 1 plus r by 100 to the power n fine now what is P here? P is principal. What is R here? And what is N here? Okay. So P is principal here. Okay, students. P is principal. The amount that we take as a loan or amount that we deposit. In both the cases, we'll consider the amount as principal. I repeat, what is principal? A principal is an amount that we take as a loan from a bank or from anybody or a money which you deposit anywhere. So in both the cases, that amount will be considered as principal. Fine. Then what is rate? Rate is R is rate percent and N is number of years. Okay. So N is number of years. So this is what you have to apply when compounded annually is written. After that, you have to find out CI. So what is the formula of CI? Amount minus principal. Okay. So until and unless you don't know what is amount is, you won't be able to find the CI. So that is the reason. First you have to find the amount. Then only you can find the CI. Okay. Now another formula that you have to use that is compounded half yearly compounded half yearly suppose if half yearly is written okay is when half yearly is written huh? so what you have to write the formula of amount would be a equals to p then 1 plus r by 2 into 100 to the power 2n okay when n is equals to 1 by 2 if you see that 1 by 2 is written or it is written half yearly then you will use this formula okay so when here when n equals to 1 or 2 or 3 or 5 but annually means annually when it is written then you will use this formula that means after every one year your principal amount will change but in this case compounded half yearly after every six months your principal amount will change so the return in, uh, return in this case will be little bit higher than the previous one fine now let's do sum number a of question number one and see how to apply this formulas now in sum number a of question number one you see it is written Calculate the amount and compound interest on rupees 1080. That is, principal amount is written what? 
10,800 is given. Weight is given what? 12 1 by 2 percent. And N is given that is number of years is given 3 years. Now if you carefully see with this rate percent it is written compounded annually. Okay, 12 1 by 2 percent per annum, per annum compounded annually written. So when compounded annually written, so we will use this formula. Isn't it? We will use this formula. So we will first we have to write the formula. Okay, first we will use this formula. So P is what? 10,800. 1 plus R is what? Now we have to break this. This is in the mixed fraction form. So it would be 25 by 2 percent. Okay. So in place of R we will write 25 by 2 by 100 to the power 3. In place of N we will write 3. Now this 2 will come down. Okay. So it will look like 10800 0, 0, 1 plus 25 by 2 into 100 to the power 3. Now, if you want to reduce this to, you can reduce boys. Okay, so that would be 25 ones are 25, 25 fours are. 100. Now, 4 to the 8, it will become 4 to the 8. <coughs> okay, so 10800 0, 0, into 1 plus 1 by 8 to the power 3. Now we do the LCM. So 10800, 0, 0, so that would be 8. 8 plus 1 to the power 3. And what finally we can write? 10800 0, 0, into 9 by 8 to the power 3. Okay, so what will the rest part? I am doing the rest part here, boys. Okay, this side. So your amount would be one zero eight zero zero into now nine by eight. We have to multiply how many times? Three times. What is this carrying? Three as a power. So nine by eight into nine by eight into nine by eight. Okay, so that would be what. 10800 0, 0 into 9 into 9 into 9 is 729 volts and 8 into 8 into 8 is 512. Now you will reduce this. Fine. So now you will reduce this and you will get the answer as 15377.34. You will keep your answer only up to two decimal places. Now many of the students ask, sir, can we give the answer in the mixed fraction form? I would say absolutely no because rupees form cannot be written in the mixed fraction form okay because this is rupees okay so amount is this so amount is this boys so now as you know the value of amount now you will find out ci ci is what amount minus principal so write the value of amount one five three 77.34 minus and what is principal? This is principal. So 10,800. So your final answer is what? 4,000. Uh, your answer would be uh, yes, 4577. 4577.34. Okay, so this is a solution of sum number A. Now let's move on to sum number B. Now sum number B is very very important students you see that principal amount is given rupees 18,000 okay 18,000 is given and N is written two and a half years that means whole two years is there and another half year is there so we have to calculate it in a separate way first of all we will calculate uh, the amount on two years and then the rest of the years that is we have half year we have to calculate the rest amount on half years now we have to make one formula 
okay for this particular thing so just check it how are you using and 10 percent compounded annually again written students compounded annually that means you will use the previous formula so now see the formula so first for first two years we'll write this formula 1 plus r by 100 okay it is for first two years okay so i'm writing it for you first two years fine this is for two years but we have another half year is also there so how to calculate it so for to calculate this half year we'll use the half yearly formula that is one plus r by two into hundred to the power two year. okay so this part is for half year up till here amount is two years now this part is for another half year so let me write it for you that is this is for half year okay so two and a half years this is for two years this is for half year fine principle is common for both that is for two and for half year also now just put the values now in place of principal we will write 18,000 fine in place of R we will write 10 here we will write 2 because it is for 2 years then we will go to the next bracket that is 1 plus R will be same only 10 now 2 into 100 2 into N now N is what half year because this part is for 2 years and this part is for what? Half year. So for this case, n is equals to 2. And for this case, n is what? Half. So in place of n, we'll write half. Okay? Now, we will reduce it. That is, these two zeros will be reduced. Just to convert it into the simpler form, these two zeros will be reduced. And this two, two will be also reduced. Okay? So the final look will look like 18,000. 1 plus 1 by 10 to the power 2 1 plus 1 by 20 to the power 1 is there so we will not write 1 ok now we will solve the brackets so let us try to solve the bracket 18,000 10 10 plus 1 2 ok and this will be 20 20 plus 1 okay now solve this so 18,000 into 11 by 10 square into 21 by 20 now expand this okay expand this so 18,000 into 11 by 10 how many times you have to write 2 times so 11 by 10 into 11 by 10 into 21 by 20. So how to convert into the simplest form? Now we will first reduce the zeros. These two zeros, these zeros, these zeros. Done? Now 2 ones are 2, 2 nines are 18. Isn't it? So the rest part will do it here, this side. So A would be equals to 9 into 11 into 11 into 21 okay so 9 into 11 into 11 into 21 so if you do it you will get the answer as what 9 into 11 into 11 into this just a minute you will get 21780 you will get 21780 let me just check it, okay? No, it will come 22869. Sorry, 22869. It will come 22869. So, amount will be 22869. And what will be the CI then? CI formula, we will write it down. CI would be what? Amount minus principal. Amount is what? 22869. 22869 minus what is principal? 18,000. 18,000. So your answer is going to be what? 22869. 
four eight six nine. Four eight six nine. Okay, students. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. God bless you and take care, everyone.